Welcome back everyone. A lot has changed since the last server development episode, but before I get into that, I wanted to make sure to remind everyone to join the Discord. The link will be down in the description. When you join the Discord, all you have to do after reading the rules is just type question mark or green in the chat and you'll gain access to the rest of the server. But if you didn't know already, I'm making a new game mode that's similar to factions, but without any of the pay to win. But my main goal with this server is that actual people will enjoy it. So in order to accomplish this, I really need everyone's feedback. So if you want to join that server, it would be greatly appreciated, as well as leave a different comments and feedback down in the comment section down below. Um, without further ado, let's actually begin. Real quick, the next episode is actually going to be the video where I'm going to talk about the entire Factions plugin that I plan on creating. I have made some of it already, as you can see here, but this is some of the basic stuff that I don't really want to go too much into or spoil. But like, for example, I have created some of this stuff, and like you can just spam invite. And then if you look right here, spam getting invite like that. But you can also do dash F invite off. No longer receive invite. Um, this is like some of the stuff I've created so far. And you can see. And you can go invite on. Yeah, there you go. Invites on. So that's some of the stuff I've been working on. Um, the factions plugin. And I really want to go into the whole depth of it. That's why everything's kind of... You can't see anything right now. I turn my chunks down because I don't want to spoil it. Because it's going to be an entirely new game mode, but it's going to be based on factions, so it's going to be similar. Um, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Anyways, let's actually start talking about what I've done this so far. Well, I mean, first of all, you probably have seen the hearts. I have added the health bar. I know some of you have been asking that. And I also, I know some of you also want me to do the name tags, which is going to be in the rank plugin, slash permission plugin, slash faction plugin. So yeah, I haven't gotten to that part yet. Um, also, don't mind any of the spamming in chat. Of different enchants or other crap like that uh, just for testing and that player stack is we're now testing combo the enchant if you want to hear more about that custom enchant plugin uh, make sure you check out the last video the first major thing i want to talk about is that i actually added another developer to the team so it's me and another guy working on it now i'm still the owner don't worry about that i'm still also coding a ton but we're splitting up part of the work so we can actually get the server done a little bit quicker because this is a lot of work considering we're making every single plugin from scratch and everything like that because, you know, fully customizable plugins, it also going to be run faster because we can optimize it a lot better, considering we can cut out all the fluff. Because uh, when you download a lot of plugins, there's going to be a lot of crap in there just to make it work across every server. But we only need to make it work across this server so we can really optimize the crap out of it and get the most efficiency out of it, which would be really good for hosting, really good for the player base, as well as also it's going to be, everything is going to be customizable. So the first thing um, right now he's working on is the custom jar file. Um, basically what that means is so like diamond armor and things like that won't get you know it won't get removed from fire lightning and there's also some more stuff he's working on there but I don't want to get into that it's part of a spoiler with the factions plugin but um, some more things similar to that um, just remove glitches just to make things a little bit easier because it's a little bit easier to cancel stuff from the spigot actual j jar file than it is to make a plugin that stops it um, so he's working on that he also made a mob spawner stacker and then um, See if I can go here. And also blazes like this. Uh, wait. Yeah, over here. So blaze spawners that are also going to be silk touched and actually all spawners. It's not just blaze spawners, but right now we're just using this. So if you're using non silk touch, you break it. That happens. You get XP. This one, XP gets canceled though. You can still get the blaze spawners with the silk touch. Also, if I didn't know if I said this already, everyone is going to be able to silk touch spawners. You don't have to be a rank. Um, you don't have to be a rank either to slash fix. So he's been working on those two things, been making a lot of progress while he's been doing that. I've added the um, health bar, I also added the combat tagger, which is pretty cool. Um, also you can do slash CT for combat tag, or slash combat tag if you want to type it all up. If you want to type it all out, but no one really wants to do that. Um, so the combat tagger like that. Also ender pro cooldown, you can't spam it like that. So it says you're on pro cooldown. Um, that part was pretty cool. And then probably one of the hardest things I've added here is going to be the uh, combat logger. This one definitely took me a little bit to do. Um, so for example, let me actually go like this. Okay. So you can see I log out like this and it says clone all types of log on combat. And this is going to send a radius in it'll send this message to anyone within 70 blocks. And if you see right here, I have the animation of like that. So what this is gonna do is the player, if no one kills this entity right here, 
it's going to log out within 90 seconds. So I kind of want to get your opinion on that. So right now this entity will log out in 90 seconds if no one kills it, and which means the player will be safe. Um, for example, if I log in right now, it's going to remove the entity and the player will be fine. So if you log back in, you're not going to lose all your items because since there's a combat logger, if I do log out in combat and my entity is killed, you know, you're just all your items are going to drop on the ground. So um, if you hit, let me hit myself again like that, log out. Now, if you want to kill it, got to jitter click this crap. It's a tank. All right. So what's your opinion on that? Right now it takes 110 hits to kill the villager, no matter what you are. So I cancel the damage and just take it, like make it require actual, um, basically damage to be taken. Um, not I me, mean, not damage, just hits. I'm just counting the hits. So let me log out here so I can show you that logging out does work. It does auto log out. Um, and it also takes 90 seconds to auto log out. So I really needed an opinion on those times. So what do you think about 110 hits to kill it, 90 seconds for it to be auto logged? Pretty much what I was thinking behind this is if someone logs out, I want to be able to give them enough time to try to log back in if they can log back in. Because if their game crashes, I don't want them just to be like, oh, you got unlucky, your game crashed. Oh, well, you lose all your gear. But I also don't want it to be where you can just log out and be invincible. So what I was thinking this could also add some kind of cool dynamics to the game where players would like log out in combat and they could log back in within amount of time to bait someone. I feel like that would be kind of cool. Add some cool mechanics to the game considering you're not gonna die instantly and you can log back in at any time you want and be survived as long as you don't get killed within the 110. I don't count it, so I don't, because if I counted it, it would be kind of broken and OP. You could see how many hits left. Um, so you don't really know and it'd be kind of risky to wait along if you're in a good set. But I think it's going to be kind of a cool way. Also, if, like, let's say your teammate logs out, your faction member logs out, you can actually defend it um, for that 90 seconds. So you're going to be defending your faction player, and then he'll auto-log out. And then when he auto-logs out, you'll be good to go. Um, so that's also something that would be pretty cool. I want to know your opinion on that. This is one of the, probably the most difficult thing that I've done. Um, also, kind of want to know what's your take on the Ender Pearl cooldown? So right now it's 10 seconds Ender Pearl cooldown and also 12 second combat tag timer. So what do you think about those two uh, timers right there? Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, there we go. He logged out. Perfect. So those are the two tag timers I will also want to get some information on. And then if you log back in, you can see, yeah, he, he's still alive. So that's exactly how I wanted it. So I this definitely took a little bit of bug testing, but I finally got got it working. So that's pretty good. Also, another thing I want to if I hit, um, actually I'm just gonna kill him like regularly. As you can see, okay, I don't the on the custom jar, he's not gonna die. Like the gear is not gonna burn. But in here, I'm not using the custom jar, which means the gear will burn. So that's an issue. But if you can see right here. I added this too. This is going to be a combat, well not combat, but this is going to be a loot protector. So as you can see, I can't pick it up on that account. This account can't pick it up like that. Um, but if I wait on this account right over it, I'll be able to pick it up after 60 seconds. So I kind of want to know what you guys think about that time so far. So in 60 seconds, you'll be able to pick up the gear. And that's the loot combat timer for that. So what's your opinion on that? Allow people to pick up gear after 60 seconds of a kill, so you only get loot protected for 60 seconds. I think that's a pretty good time. I don't really know. It's up to you guys, really, to determine what you think is going to be the best time value for all this stuff. Um, organization scrolls, kind of a lot. So there's definitely a lot of that that's been added. So I guess we'll wait for him to pick that stuff. We'll go over here for now. Um, one thing I did also do is I canceled it. Oh, there we go. Picked it up. There. So that works perfectly fine. No errors in console either. Is I have canceled golden apple things like that. So you can't make god apples. I made a... I'll actually put up on the screen right now what I'm actually canceling. Because I'm canceling kind of a lot of things. Um, yeah, you can't make normal golden apples either. Different things. So this is going to be for the shop, obviously. You don't want a whole bunch of stuff that you can use um, or craft because it's going to take away from the actual game mode. So this is what I'm gonna, I have done so far. Tell me if you want me to add anything else to it. Um, let me see what else. Oh yeah, another thing I've added was, uh, let me hit my account right there. Um, oh yeah, I also made another timer on here. So 
the fires will be continuously keeping the nakeds at bay, you could say, with Molten. So it's going to keep it, keep them combat tagged. As you can see, it still says 12 seconds here, but we're already safely logged out here because um, it doesn't have fire res on. So that's pretty good. And then another thing right here, actually, actually okay, yeah, that's less damaging. Okay, you do that and then do slash PV. I also have that canceled. So I've been doing a lot of different stuff like that. So PV, you can't do PV while you're in combat. Now you can do PV because it's opened. And then this, it should work as was just something for testing because like a lot of this enchants is a lot of stuff for testing. This is the damage multiplayer, but um, yeah. So that also added that. Well, there's definitely a lot of stuff that's been added. So get me your, I really want to know your opinions on the basically the combat tiger tag. So this, that time, 12 seconds, ender pearl, 10 seconds. Um, actually, there is one more thing I added as well. I added a lot of crap. Let me go. I think this makes more sense here. Let's put this stuff on. Golden apple. Yes, I almost forgot about this one. This one I did this actually this morning. Added. Actually, there's a lot of crap here. Let's see, you can see the effects better. So this is the second one. The third one, you get a something that says you're about to contract golden apple sickness. Um, the fourth one. You're gonna get your nausea and your mining fatigue. And now when you're at five, you're gonna actually have it and it's gonna cancel the event at this point. So you're not gonna be able to eat anymore and you're just gonna get absolutely freaking hammered. So you're not gonna be able to see anything with this crap. Um, and the way I'm doing it is for 15 seconds. So that means, I kinda wanna get your opinions on that as well. So there's a lot of stuff to get your opinions on all these different cooldown, cooldown timers. So 15 seconds for this. So that means after you eat a golden apple, if you don't wait 15 seconds, then you're going to be continuing on that timer. So it's going to keep counting until you break that 15 second cycle. So I think I broke the cycle. There's going to be no effects your first one. So if I wait 15 seconds again, there's still going to be nothing. But if I eat it before the 15 seconds, I'm going to get just something brief. It's not even going to actually really come up. You won't be able to notice anything like that. But the third one, you definitely will start noticing a bit, as you can see. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. The fourth one manageable but then obviously the fifth one just going to cancel it so just and you're also going to get absolutely fried so don't want a golden apple chug so that's the way i came up with that stop that let me know your opinions on that as well as the rest of the stuff um yeah basically that's everything i know i can do dash f disband all right make sure you guys reply down in the comment section down below as well as share this video with anyone you think that may like this sort of thing and i'll see you in the next one